Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to add a validation list from a selected range in Excel using VVA macros. So we have here a list of cars for sales and we want to make a validation list for the car brand. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, add validation from selection and we're going to use here several variables. So the first will be a range variable, cell as range. It's going to have each cell while looping through the selected range. Then we're going to have my call as a new collection. And a collection works in some way similar to an array, but it has some differences. And um, we're going to see how that works now. Then we will have um, an item or i as an integer to loop through the items in the collection. And finally, we will have a list, comma delimited list. So it's going to be declared as a string. And there are basically two ways to add a validation list in VVA um, or in Excel. You can have a reference to a range in the worksheet with the unique values of that list, or you can add a comma delimited list. So we're going to use the second approach. The first approach is fairly simple. You just need to use the advanced filter options, and you can do that also with VVA. So there is an advanced filter method and you select the unique records and you put this into another range, that, that's quite easy. We're gonna use another approach. We're gonna get the unique values with the collection. So we're gonna look for each cell in the selections. So we're gonna be selecting um, a range and then we're gonna loop for each cell in the selection and for each cell we're gonna add to our collection. As you see, a collection is also an object and it has four methods. The add method, we're going to use now to add the items to the collection. Then we will use the count method later and the item to read each item in the collection. So, and we're going to add the value of the cell in the collection. But as you see, the collection also has a key parameter and this is different than with arrays, and it allows to assign a key to each item in the collection. So we're gonna take advantage of this key parameter, and we're gonna add actually the same value as a key. In that way, we will add each unique value only once. And otherwise, it will actually give an error. So we need to add here on error, resume next. Okay, so let me add here a commentary. This is going to add uh, unique values to the collection. Okay, now that we have the unique values in the collection, we're going to create a list, or we're going to add the values to a list. So again, we're going to loop for i, in this case, one, two, mycollection.count, and my list it's going to be whatever it is in my list. It's going to be empty at, at the beginning. And my collection item i. So for each of the items in the collection. And we're going to add actually a comma because we are building a comma delimited list. Here we go to the next item. And finally, we're going to add the validation list. And we're going to add that um, in some other, uh, we could have it here or, or somewhere, but I think we're going to add it here. Here in cell B3, so with sheet 2, range B3, validation, so this is the validation property of the range, the first thing we'll do is to delete any validation. It, it, we don't really need this the, the first time we run the macro, but if you run the macro twice or more times, you need to delete the, the existing validation. And then second, we're going to add a validation of the type validate list, this one here. So that's a validation list. And we do not need the alert or the operator. We're going to use the, we need the formula one, and that's going to be my list. And with. OK, so let's now select the range. We're going to select the, all the car brands here. 
and run the macro and see we have got our validation list here. So that's how we add a validation list from a selected range in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.